This is how I take photos of my body paints. This is how I edit them. And this video will walk you through every single step. This almost fell off my head. Hey there, I'm Chris or CKC. I'm a cruelty free body artist on Twitch. And today I'm going to show you my little friend. Look at his face. Look at him. Admire him. Tell him he's beautiful. Tell him he's beautiful. Also, I'm going to show you how I take my photos of my body paints. I'm in one right now. Right here. Oh god, I'll fall. And uh, yeah, I'll show you how I take my photos and how I edit them. Also, I'm not a professional. I will probably do something that will drive like actual photographers and cosplayers crazy. But you know, <laughs> this is what works for me. Just don't come for me, this is just what works. If you have any suggestions on how to make my process better, I'm all ears, but other than that, <laughs> this is what we do. Whoa, I dropped him. God damn it. Oh, oh god. Okay, let's go take photos and let's go edit. I wanted to start off by shouting out Celtis, who is the artist of this original character, Frog Witch. When the artwork came out, I was obsessed with this OC and I just had to recreate it in my own style and in a body paint. So yeah, this is my recreation. I did this live on Twitch and I just wanted to shout out Celtis because she's amazing. Go follow her. Her art is absolutely wonderful. So after a stream, I do selfies on my phone uh, because I feel like it's a great way to just show the work at as is so it's not like a professional photo it's just literally so you know selfies on my phone uh, like everybody else would do and I think it's just an easy fun way to take photos now the not so fun part which is setting up my small teeny tiny bedroom into a photo studio I you know set up all the lights that I have I do have a video on that which I will link in the description box also in like a little tabby tab on the video I'm actually really proud of this setup I feel like it's simple yet effective it works really really well for me and my space I really enjoy it even though it takes a lot to set up and put away uh yeah little thingy for camera what is it called a remote can you tell this isn't scripted anyhow I use a remote and that's how I'm able to stand further away from the camera and do a little countdown and pose and then ta-da photo. Uh, sometimes I have to leave it on autofocus because it's just very difficult since I move around, do a lot of different poses. Um, yeah, I just I have no other explanation. Again, this isn't scripted, so here I am just babbling. Ah yes, I also do take Instax photos for patrons and people who are tier three subs and I go ahead and send that to them. But yeah, the very next day is my least favorite part. I am not the best at editing. Um, I try not to take too long or do too much on the photos. I do shoot everything in raw and then put it through Photoshop, pick my favorite ones, and then adjust the lighting and color because I feel like sometimes through the camera, it just doesn't pick up certain things or uh, there are things that it does pick up that I don't want it to and so adjusting the contrast and whatnot really really helps so as soon as I pick my favorites I go through and I crop each photo the way I want it to look um which sometimes I'll crop it and then I'll realize I actually don't like a photo so I don't end up actually using it um this process doesn't take too long it's the next part which will take me a little bit this is me going through and editing out any blemishes or spots that are really distracting my body paint like a the area around the bob that has the little pasties. Sometimes latex comes off or sometimes the makeup cracks, so I fix that. And I do a little bit of effects, but as you can tell, I don't do too much to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will see you next time. Bye.